My mum is my favourite lady, I would have to say, just because her brain is brilliant. You'd love my, you would absolutely love it. I asked her recently, you know that question, have you ever done that, where you go, hey mum, right, if you could have any meal, you're on death row, what would be your final meal? This was my mum's answer. Um, I'll just have whatever that happened. <laughs> You can have a... Well, what crime did I commit? It doesn't... <laughs> you have to invent a crime. And I, I don't know, Mum, you killed a pig with a hammer. Jesus, did I? <laughs> you think you know yourself? She was telling everyone. <laughs> at this part, yeah, pig, hammer, I don't know. I must have lost it. <laughs> she came back to me an hour later when I thought about it. I don't deserve anything. <laughs> Tell him I'll just have toast. We've also got a very similar sense of humour. Now, for me and my mum, this is the funniest prank that we play. We go clothes shopping, this is our thing, and I recommend you do it with your mum. If you've got a naughty sense of humour, you're gonna love this, right? You go in, you go, hey mum, you have whatever you want. And the lady behind the counter always gets, oh my God, is that bloke off the telly? And he's getting his mum something, what a sweetheart. And then we know we've got them. Mum got a coat the other day, she went into the changing room, and then she calls me over and goes, Russ, Russ, come and have a look. And then I go into the changing room. Mum holds her hand like that. And then I go. And then Mum walks out going, I don't want the jacket. <laughs> I know it's bad, but honestly, we never return to the scene of the crime. Because we know there's about 12 women in the Bristol Oh, he's funny on the telly, is he? He hits his mother in the face over a jacket! <laughs> and he likes watching black women squeeze their tits! 